If you like it, stick to your gut and be bold. Just saying it has a vein just doesn't do it justice. Heat proof, non-porous, don't stain, UV resistant. I'm back and these are the best Decton kitchen worktops. Or in my opinion, anyway. <laughs> be bold. So when you're picking a kitchen worktop, it can be an expensive decision and you don't want to get it wrong. So I've seen clients a lot of the time kind of go for a very safe option when really there was something else that they wanted, but they weren't brave enough to kind of go full on with the decision because your kitchen worktop isn't exactly something you can hide. So I'd say if you like it, stick to your gut and be bold. So why have I chosen Decton to talk about? Well, let's be honest, nobody really wants the upkeep and the worry of looking after your worktop. So Decton worktops are a porcelain material. They're man-made, they don't stain, so they're non-porous. They're heat proof, they're UV resistant. So you don't have to worry about the color staining or fading or heat damage. And as somebody who loves a beetroot salad and I'm trying to make turmeric like health shots, it's, it's a concern. <laughs> you don't really want a worktop that you're worried about it constantly staining. So all of these three worktops I'll be talking about today are Decton worktops. So they have all of these properties, heat proof, non-porous, they don't stain, they are UV resistant. So if you've got lots of light coming into your kitchen, they'll be fine. If you'd like more videos like this, please give this video a like just to let me know you guys are enjoying this type of video and I'll make more videos on different worktops for you. So I was gonna say we'll start off with the most basic one, but I really don't wanna call this worktop basic because it's anything but basic, but it's just got, I'd say maybe the least kind of variation. Let me, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> So this, this worktop has the least variation, but it's still, again, it's one of my favorites for a reason. And this is the Albarium Crafter Zen. So the color is called Albarium and Crafter Zen is kind of the range within Decton that this comes from. So I'll show you a close up. And this worktop has kind of like a plastered effect. So if you look into it, it looks as if there's like layers of plaster kind of dried down and you see those different strokes. And I just really love that texture. So I also love like lime washed walls and it gives me that same kind of vibe. So this one I'd say is great if you're going with like a Scandi kitchen or a very minimalist kitchen. Yeah, I think this one is very peaceful. It's very minimal but it's got that texture. So if you wanted to add some interest to your kitchen in your worktop, but you didn't want to go too bold, this is a great option because it adds texture, but it's all still kind of uniform in color. So the Elborium Crafter Zen is kind of a matte finish. It's got some texture to it. It almost feels a bit chalky, but this next worktop is a polished gloss finish worktop and that is the Decton Bergen Stonica. So the Bergen Stonica is kind of a glossy white base with a black kind of, I wouldn't say it's a veining, it looks more like a chalk that's kind of been smudged around, but I'll show you a close up of it here. And I just really love this worktop because I think it's quite different the white veined worktop has been very popular over the last 10 and 15 years, but I think it's time for something different, which is why I really do like the more textured worktops. But this one is still one of my favorites because it's, it's quite different to the usual white veined worktop you find because of the, I'm gonna call it veining, but it's actually like, I'll, I'll say, I feel like it's more kind of chalking, if that makes sense because you have some parts of it that are darker, some parts that are lighter, and it looks almost smudged, which I just really like. So it just looks really different and you're not gonna find this, oh, the sun's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're looking for a white polished worktop, definitely have a look at the Bergen Stonica by Decton. So in terms of color variation, the Decton Bergen was kind of our middle adventurous worktop. And 
for our final worktop, we're going to the extreme. And I think any kitchen designer can tell you what this worktop is called. This is the Laurent and this is in their natural collection. Oh, I forgot to mention the Bergen is in their Stonica collection. So the Decton Laurent, as you can see, it's a very industrial looking worktop. It's a matte finish and it's got a kind of brownish coppery veining and it looks almost as if somebody has scratched through the black and into the brownie copper and then we also get a little bit of kind of whitish gray as well in the scratch marks <laughs> i'm trying to find the best descriptive words to describe these worktops if you're not seeing them in person because just saying it has a vein just doesn't do it justice that's what it looks like to me it looks like almost a kind of mountain that's had been like scratched kind of thing so i'm not sure what the inspiration was for this one but it's called the natural collection and that's the kind of vibe that it gives me kind of like a volcanic mountain um kind of thing it's definitely more of an industrial worktop so it goes more with a very modern kitchen i wouldn't pair this with a shaker kitchen for example but it just it does look really nice in kind of like a modern handle handled or handleless kitchen but still i'd go for more of a industrial look which of these three worktops was your favorite i think i think mine might have to be the first one the albaria albarium craft design and it's because when i have when i have my eventual dream kitchen i would like it to be quite a peaceful place i love to cook and when I go to cook, it's kind of like, this is a me time situation. So like, nobody interrupt me, just leave me alone to cook. Yeah, for now, this is one of my favorite contenders for my future dream kitchen. But let me know in the comments, which of these three was your favorite. So if you enjoyed this video on my top three Decton worktops, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. I'd also like to do a similar video on different brands, not just Decton. So if there's another brand you'd like me to do a video on, for example, Caesar Stone or Neely, just let me know and I can make that for you. So if you enjoyed watching this video, I definitely suggest to watch this one next. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.